Welcome to Saturday morning's top up show. It's the last meeting of May. Um, a little bit of rain just after the uh, preview show yesterday, uh, two and a half mils has kept us right where we were. Um, let's say heavy eight, penetrometer of 6.01, light wind today. 39 scratchings. I suppose we anticipated a fair few because there were a number of emergencies, but um, there are some races that have been cut in half there. Um, Gord, uh, any changes from you uh, based on what happened this morning? Uh, just a little bit more confident about um, about conditions and track now. Um, it's not going to be an absolute bog and it looks like there's not going to be much wind. Is that, is that right too, Mark? So, yeah, yeah. Uh, when I get Rose Hill in these kind of conditions, I, gen I generally tend to bet up and um, that's what I've been doing this morning. Okay, well, the punters are bet up on Anders in the first or the early punters, the early shoppers, and there's 12,000 matched on the fair and it's 270-ish. Um, it's like... 250-ish with uh, with the corpse at the moment. A uh, touch of money for Supremo, but other than that, uh, that's that's the way the betting's gone. In fact, um, yeah, I suppose, you know, it is J-Mac, uh, our leading rider. He's been a bit in the doldrums, don't you think, Glenn? J-Mac, he's not... Uh... The inquiry's weighing heavy on his shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that, that, that cross-examination. Yeah, yeah, I got him. <laughs> uh, look, I think he's still riding well. Um, you know, you, you have your little... These, these gun guys, obviously, sometimes you just... Uh, or just due to variance, you don't get as many women. Uh, yeah, and the last-minute thoughts on this two-year-old race. Obviously, we lost Mrs. Mosel. That was the only difference between uh, our show yesterday and this morning, which uh, shouldn't make much difference. Glenn, Glenn were you were declaring the Sanders. From, yeah. Yeah, I was one from eight. Now I'm just one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, Gordon, any last-minute thoughts or just what you said yesterday? Uh, not a lot of confidence in the race. Going to have something small on 11 and five. Mm. Um, uh, race two, uh, Deepwood Vale has met with some support uh, in a race that... Um, well, yeah, Irish it, Dr. Nick liked it. So ah, uh, yeah. Well, I, you know, I suppose technically it is a, it's coming out of a provincial race. It was the Scone Cup day. Um, last race with uh, three-year-olds. So I, I can see some some interest. And I mentioned on the show yesterday that it seemed to be a bit of a poke around, Glenn. Yeah, Hardstable are back in town though, Mark. Hardstable are back anywhere, but Hardstable are back in town. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess it's pretty much as we as, as you were. The, as I say, there's not a lot of early morning action and um, there's no reason to really um, to differ from where we went yesterday. No, my numbers were still 672. I think, Gord, you were tipping six, weren't you? Just back in six. That's the only one I'm back in. Yeah. Um, race three, uh, I forgot to mention yesterday that Atlantic King, who's a resumer here that's, well, he's in the market somewhat, has had a tie-back operation. Uh, overnight interest in Moe's Crown, Military Magic and Edison. So Sally's day has not moved. Um, she remains the seven or two favourite, I suppose you would say. Um, Glenn, Moe's Crown is a horse of interest, great interest to you, isn't it? I think uh, yeah. getting, getting onto a deep track with, uh, with uh, well, our friend. On finds J Mac. He is our friend. Um, you know, one of the first times it's also a serious rider in its whole life. So, um, like, a, like a, this rider will suit this horse. I know, I know. But uh, if he goes down today, you'll you'll consign him as a number, won't you? Heavy life. life. God, God, you've got a spring in your step about this race. You and Singo, your buddies today. Uh, yeah, I'm 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 just as keen as I was yesterday. I, I can't see any reason to um go against number nine Sally's day. I thought it was a sensational run last start against uh, just as strong through the line against a horse that's absolutely flying in for two. Um, uh, loving the fact that it's not too late. G Ryan Prep and sort of um you know normally from start three onwards you start to sort of look for a drop off, but the way they've handled this horse. Third up looks absolutely perfect for uh, me, and I reckon it's the best horse. I've got to um, say, Gord, you are so much more confident than what the market price is. I, I expect I, it to be this price. I, like I, no, no, yeah, what I'm saying is, I, I feel like you think it's a seven to four chance that you're going to get three eighty about. Yeah, yeah. You, you I, I am scared of yours, Mo, Mo's crown, oh. and I was, and I was disappointed that Atlantic King didn't accept down at Kembla today. Um, but I wanted to back it when it was resuming, but not in this race. Mm. Fascinating race. And of course, I wasted breath on two Waller horses yesterday that immediately came out. That was Matty Rocks and Starla. They drew wide. Uh, Chris goes, well, not today, as he is wont to do. A lot of action on Trumbull in race four. It's, um, it's I think, you know, obviously it sets up as the alternative to Soldier of Love, which uh, you've described as a midweek at Glen. So, um, 
Trumbull going up to the 1500 for the first time. Will they actually get forward on this horse, given that they've, they've tried to get forward in the last few runs and haven't, haven't gone close? Yeah, he's got a bad habit of missing the kick, this horse, doesn't he? Yeah. Well, at the 1500, you've got to, you know, and there's, so there are a number of slow horses in this race. If you, if you actually... You should be able to mosey out. Hmm. Well, and you've got Nash on you. Yeah. Massive kicks jockey the, change for this horse. Kicks him in the guts. Who was the horse you wanted me to tell you about today with Nash on the Spurs? This one. Oh, it was this one, was yeah. it? Oh, will you remind me? Yeah. Oh, no. I remembered it. Yeah, okay. Yes. Um, so, look, yeah, the betting is shaping as a match race, although I'd have to give the two mares some sort of chance in this race. Uh, but it is a, a skinny, sort of skanky-looking 88, as uh, can happen because we don't have enough good horses. Uh, for twos, uh, not... not um, not a lot of backers and layers on the fair at this point, which I think is perhaps a good indication for, for twos. Uh, Noble Boy, 4000 matched on the fair at all at around $6. There seems to be good interest there, Glenn. Wow, that surprises me, Mark. That's very solid betting at this time of day. Still think eight will just win, mate. Yeah. Well, look, it's, you know, it's, uh, it's eight race to lose. Uh, I have mentioned that, um, you know, she's, she hasn't seen a track like this and, and obviously she remains a query over the distance. But, Gord, uh, what's an acceptable price here? Any price, it's an absolute moral. All right. Um, any price. <laughs> any price. This. Um, Doro uh, six. What about Doro six? Uh, the bird, That's a price. The, the birdies were tweeting that this thing scoots across the ground. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> um, and the fact that it's actually not into that heavy nine, heavy ten, only the heavy eight might be a little bit better by this stage. Um, perfect conditions for, for two, and it's up against all these old spastics. Um, it's a moral. Um, I've got to say, love your clarity, good. <laughs> I tell you what, I you, ain't love, any... you ain't like my bank statement if it gets beaten. <laughs> I don't know how anyone can drink half a bottle of vodka every night of the week and have such clarity at nine in the morning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll be like this. You haven't, tried doing, you haven't tried doing that, Glenn, so maybe that's the answer. Might be, might be. I must admit, when I'm uh, at four o'clock in the afternoon, if I'm betting in play and I've had two beers or three beers, yeah, I bet better. <laughs> yeah. Do you bet bigger as well? Just I, I triple click. Nah. <laughs> triple click yeah. It can't win. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, you grind out three hundred over three hours, and then you want a thousand in the last half an hour. Three beers <laughs> next year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what a game! <laughs> That's the irresponsible act of gambling. Yes. Yes. Right. Oh well, well we're sort of well, yeah. Well, we're not really free to wear here. <laughs> um, Ray six, Miss Einstein and Reva Capri. Well, uh, Gord, you did mention that you were interested in Reva Capri. She's come in for solid support, and Miss Einstein is um, is is rock solid. Uh, I guess Secura has come out of this market. What um, rider did we get for some covers, Mark? Uh, hit your man, Hippo. Oh, it's a nice pickup. I didn't even. I, I've just um, forgotten to look. That's what I'm asking. Right. So yeah, there are two Jason Coyle horses on the program today that um, you know are in the market and um, are. Well, you know, they're, they're developing nonny tags, but um, look to fit and in they there They find somewhere. J-Mac and Adam Hieronymus. You get one super, super rider and one okay rider. Yeah. Uh, Gord, did you find... Uh, Kipo being get... the super, super rider. Gord, that was... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you didn't pick up on it. I was, <sighs> yeah, I was looking at some prices. Yeah, go, Mark. Sorry. Yeah, Gord, did you, did you uh, get keener on anything after... Well, you, you, you mentioned you weren't... Uh, well, you were a bit askance of the uh, the favourite, Miss Einstein. Um, oh, it's a super tough race. Um, at the moment, I've had something on River Capri. Um, I think it's unders now because it was just a suspicion bet. Mm. Um, and then, you know, there's no way the other one I was going to have something small on was statuesquely, and I don't need to rush into that because it's first up on a heavy track with, you know, a long time since its last win. So um, no rush in having something on that, but I will be. Um, yeah, I, I, I've I've got a little bit more scared of Miss Einstein overnight. Okay, all right. Um, uh, by the way, um, he was on um, Miss Einstein, Glenn. It's a it's a light type, isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah. Which That's is all gonna, right. Which is going to suit on the wet. But what about quick backup? No problems, Baker. Okay, so Baker. It's different kind of wiry type. But, the, the bottom line to this race is I came here tipping Miss Einstein from bound to win, six from 11, only two possible runners. We did the show. We put eight in the fucking first leg of the quaddy and now I think we're going to miss it. <laughs> yeah, oh, it will be found. No, I'm just all uh, like... Just straight like, up. Yeah, I've got the... Yeah. i got a pair of aces at the poker table. Flop six, three, seven. I think he's got set. It's just a bit like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, the best. The main event, uh, Rapido Shaparo is the mover. And I must say, I had a long look at this because uh, obviously he's got a good run at Rose Hill, two starts back. He's rising in distance and he leads. But, um, gee, he's got some terrible looking runs on soft ground. And, and you know, that perhaps explains last start uh, even better. The fact that he went from a fast track at Rose Hill to a slow track at Brandon. He's a Wednesday horse, isn't he, Mark? Well, yeah, I think he's a, yeah, I suppose. I mean, he's a he's a Saturday horse at a pinch. That's um, that's in the right. Where's his Saturday win though? I can't see it. I see Port Macquarie, Canterbury midweek. No, he's run second to Doctor Drill on the Saturday. That's his that's his run. Yes, uh, I'm I'm surprised about the money. I I don't give it any chance. But you know, just yet again, no weight leader. Hmm. Hmm. It's uh, you you've described those as potential early uh, early firmers, haven't you, Good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Batiga. Uh, there, there's not much action on the fair at this point. I guess. Um, Players are waiting to see how the how the track looks. Um, Batiga is obviously the um, the three year old that uh, has well you know will attract well has attracted all uh, you know the, the commensurate attention and uh, and they're all sort of they have they've all had their chances outside of him. Uh, Glenn's uh, Glenn's convinced me. What's that? Well, he Little was win. he was declaring it, and I'm I'm starting to lean towards what Glenn was saying there. I I like the scratchings as well. When you watch the replay, the last three under the other day, just cruised through the line, didn't it? Yeah. Goes down and wait, just sits there, looks, picks him up. Yeah, I like the fact that it's a smaller field. Um, yeah, I, I, it's, a, it's a bet now. Get a few of your four-way all-ups today. You'll be rich, Gord. Yeah, I've got some models in Kembla that I've posted in the chat room as well. There's, there's some oh. models running down there tomorrow. So I reckon people should have like a, like a what is it, a 13-leg multi. Here we go. Well, there's nine morals at Rose Hill, but you've got to find them. That's it. Yeah. yeah, well, one of the hardest races on the card is the second last, and there is a change of tactics on Secure to settle out. They want it to settle outside the lead. Um, yeah, so they, they, they'd be happiest if they sat. Yeah. What horse, Mark? Secure. It's out. No, it's out, of, it's out of race six. It's not out of race It's out eight. of both races. It's out of both races. Since when? What well, is off my stuff? Off my yeah, stuff. Well, it must race. be as well. Wow. Yeah, I, I saw the tactic change as well. On, it was tweeted by Racing New South Wales, wasn't it, Mark? Yeah. It was but, on the Racing New South Wales scratchings. That's, a, that's sorry, the one I said. It's, sorry. It's, yeah. Sorry. It's, it's not. It's out of race. It's out of race eight. It's not, right, not out of race six. That's what I've missed. Six, yeah. Yeah. Oh. So it's going to settle outside lead in race six. My apologies. Right. Um, now, Ray, yes, this second last uh, money for for my tip, Lundberg. That's uh, that's about all. Um, it um, it looks a uh, an opaque race, Glenn. Yeah, yeah. Just what you see is what you get. Just I, I'm looking forward to seeing number eight in the yard. Number eight being uh, Mister Dependable. Um, yep. Named yeah. after Gord. He's a good man there, Mister Dependable. That's you, Gord. Yeah. You are dependable. Yeah, yeah. Just, just when you, what state, you I'm in, what state yeah. I'm in is undependable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, obviously the betting on this race will be uh, heavily determined by any perceived track pattern at this stage. Um, and finally, the last, where, which has really been cut about. There's been some annoying scratchings in this race, and um, Adelong is now sitting down the low two dollar range. Uh, Seven thousand matched early on the fair, which is good matching for a last race. Um, and uh, I did contact Cheers about the riding arrangements. Good. Uh, apparently, J Mac took an early booking on Superium, and uh, and as Cheers said, we were left to pick up the crumbs. Yeah, he's picked up the winner. Good on you, <laughs> Cheersy. <hey? laughs> oh. Yeah. So he did say uh, he did say to me, look, anytime you're interested, you know, you want to know about a riding arrangement, uh, please please ask. Because, and God, um, oh, that's that's Bowman's jockey manager for those that don't know. Mm. Yeah, had a very um, great bloke. Um, yeah, approachable bloke. Young Cheers, even though he's getting old like me. Yeah. yeah any last minute thoughts here, Glenn, on the nightcap? Not the favourite wins. Um, I thought it was the two runners. I think the favourite wins, Mark. I think that's why there's so many scratches. I think a lot of people think the favourite wins. Uh, even more confident now that there's only one chance in the race, which is out along. <laughs> Moral. I think there was only one chance in the race yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, but I, I did say I, when I first looked at it, I thought there were two chances. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. okay. So you're, you're, I, I'm you're, you're pretty confident. You're thinking, yeah. I'm pretty confident that Superior can't go on the wet. Uh, so, so, so I'd suggest they wouldn't even be trying to bust it, you know what I mean? Which means, you know, 
Well, they, they, mass you know, perfect. Uh, it, look, it could it could be still strongly fancied despite that because it has had three trials and J Mac they chased J Mac early, so um, there is some intent there. Obviously, um, punters make their own minds up about whether a heavy eight will 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 throw that spanner completely in those works, mm. but. Um, We'll wait and see. Okay, that's the top up. Now, um, anyone watching that's not a member should be a member. Uh, and anyone watching that's not uh, hasn't got an account with Dave Deedwire should should have one as well. He's betting uh, races seven to nine from um, uh, from eleven till twelve today. You can get on to win as much as ten thousand, and little punters are welcome. So, um, Dave Dwyer, if you if you put a monkey five hundred dollars in your account with him, you get uh, rebated your rent sub for the month. And um, yet, um, plenty of opportunity to get set at a reasonable price. Yep. But further to that, uh, you know, as I say, you're mad not to be part of our uh, rant membership. No, Twenty nine dollars gets you five shows a week and an amazing amount of content on every Sydney content. Metropolitan meeting. And uh, best of all, the chat room where Gord has already pointed out that he's left some very, very pointed and tidy information for Kembla today. So. Uh, Chatters, get in there and uh, check it out. Uh, I mean, I'll say one thing. Like, even guys that are in a state, we, we've got awesome information every state in Australia. So wow. get involved. And we're talking about some serious pros being very generous with their information. That's right. It's a great umbrella. And as I say, the first two weeks are free on Rent Sub, so you don't even have to pay to check all this out. So we'd love, to be, love you to be part of our team, and we hope to see you soon. See you later, guys. Make sure you win.